Hi, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater, Fiona. Fiona asks, Jeff, I've inherited a system with three battery banks. Okay, all right. A starter battery, a house battery bank, which is made of two batteries, because a battery bank could be made, of course, of multiple batteries. And then lastly, a thruster and windless battery. Okay, so she mentions, Fiona says, Jeff, I've heard you mention that a charger should be around 10% of the battery bank capacity. I have a 20 amp battery charger on board. My question is this, now that I have two other batteries connected to that, batter, to that charger, how do I calculate battery sizing? Do I increase, include all the batteries in the calculation or do I only look at the house? Fiona, great question, great question. So the rule is really more for, the 10% rule is really more about to do with batteries that go through a discharge, like a real discharge, like a deep cycle battery. A starter battery and a deep cycle battery are completely different. The rule about sizing a charger to be 10% of the battery size capacity really applies mostly to deep cycle batteries. And it wouldn't apply to a starter battery. So for instance, if you only had two battery banks on your boat, you had a 200 amp hour battery bank and a 100 amp battery bank for a starter, you know, a 20 amp charger would be the bare, bare minimum and I'd be okay with it, not perfect, I'd probably, minimum doesn't mean ideal and I'd probably, if given a choice, I would go with a 30 amp charger. But you could get away with a 20 amp because the starter battery goes from 100% full to 99. So big deal. The deep cycle batteries might be go from 200 amp hours down to 100 amp hours, so that's the one that you need to have at least 10% uh, of the battery capacity as a charge rate. Now, adding a thruster windless battery into the mix complicates things a little bit because it is possible uh, that a thruster battery gets overused and overused would be maybe windy conditions when you're trying to leave the dock or getting to a dock and that battery might be really, really depleted. In that case, then the 20% rule or 10% rule on just the house battery is not gonna cut it. So if you've got a thruster windless battery, I would probably include that in my calculations for the 10% rule. So if you had that battery was maybe 100 amp hours and you had a house of 200 amp hours, then the minimum charge rate would be 30. But if I was designing the system, do you think that I would do minimum as my target? Minimum is what it stands for. Minimum is the very least. So I would probably go up 15% of that and I would make 15% of maybe 300 amp hours, and that's you know 45 amps, so I would either put between a 40 amp and a 50 amp battery charger on this boat, is what I would do. So great question, Fiona, and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.